California, the heat is on in the southwest. Santiago, beautiful <laughs> weather there always. Well, time now to show off the cloud of the month, or in this case, maybe we should say cloudlets. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, uh, these cloudlets look like sheets of fleecy clumps here. They make up the alto cumulus cloud. There you go. And for more on the cloud of the month, we want to bring in Gavin Preacher Pinney, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society. Uh, Gavin, good to see you. Joining us from Somerset, England. That's right. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Paul. Well, hey tell us about the alto cumulus cloud. Of course, they look like they were almost deliberately laid out in a cool pattern. Explain that. Yeah, well, that's what's so striking about these are beautiful clouds, all right? It's what's so striking about them is they have this layer. When they appear like this, it's a very regular layer spreading over a large area, lots of clumps called cloudlets with gaps in between. Uh, here you have a, a demonstration for us. I sure do. I'm going to show you. It's a kitchen demo. You know I like my kitchen demos. Here we are in the kitchen. So it involves a, uh, one of these panini kind of toasters. You know these, right? And basically, you, um, uh, this is going to re represent what happens to the air. All right? I've got some oil here. This is sunflower oil, and I've mixed into it some powder, mica powder, M-I-C-A. You can get it online. It's just a sort of sparkly powder that people use for crafts and stuff like that. And it helps us show the movement of the oil. And that's important, because the way the oil moves is going to be the way the air moves up in the sky. Now, I'm going to turn this uh, sandwich toaster on uh, and <laughs> it's going to start to gently heat the oil below and you will see wow. the way that the oil rises is going to be in little uh, cells they're called convection cells as it begins to warm up these cells are where the oil rises up and the cool oil above sinks down can you see them beginning to appear yes, there? Yes. Turn it off. so these are the same that you see the way it matches the cloud formation with the lots of the little um, clumps yeah. of cloud because yeah. the same thing is happening up in the sky you get warmer air below the cloud layer cooler air above the cloud layer the air that wants to rise up it rises up in pockets with the cooler air coming down in between and so you know, this, uh, oil, what's happening with the oil here in the sandwich toaster, it mirrors what's happening up in the sky. Gavin, that was so cool. For a while there, we had the side by side of your experiment along with the actual alto cumulus cloud. It looks. It's weird. They yeah. look the same, don't they? It is fantastic. Very cool. Great job, great demonstration. That's Gavin Peter Penny from the Cloud Appreciation Society. And it's all because our atmosphere, like that panini toaster, it's heated from below. Fluid, yes. So it, it causes these convection cells, and it's a beautiful demonstration of what goes on. It's amazing out here. It I'm really just, is amazing so cool. out there. So all right. Cool. We, we appreciate Gavin so much across the pond there in England. Uh, coming up here on weekend.